The Green Bay Packers receive great news ahead of Sunday's game against the Colts. I'm going to break that down for you guys in this video. I'm also going to talk about the Packers' defense and what to expect from them going forward. Are we going to see the same performance as we saw last week or not? I'm going to break that down. If you haven't subscribed yet, please take a second to do so. Okay, so what's the great news the Packers get ahead of the Colts game? Well, it happens to come on the injury front, and it is about Jordan Love. It says right here the Packers have listed Green Bay Packers quarterback Jordan Love as questionable for Sunday's home opener against the Indianapolis Colts. Okay, so as the uh, week progressed, okay, when this first, you know, kind of rolled out of Jordan Love could be potentially available this week, my initial thought was, okay, this is a great chess game between the Packers coaching staff and the Indianapolis coaching staff because the Packers want the Indianapolis Colts to plan accordingly and plan for two quarterbacks to defend Malik Willis and Jordan Love and not be ready for just one guy out there. So as we progress, so as the week progresses, it's seeming more and more likely that this could be a potential possibility. But the great news is if it's not Jordan Love, maybe just one week out, the, you know, how good is that? Okay, so us Packer fans out there, initially when the injury came in, there's speculation that this dude was going to be out for the year and then it was two to six weeks and now it could be only one week or maybe missing no time. I don't know about you, but that is fantastic news. Also running back, Marshawn Lloyd, hamstring receiver, Jaden Reed, Shin uh, are also questionable. Emmanuel Wilson stepped up fantastic last week. I'm not so concerned about the running back room. I know I would, I'm excited to see Marshawn Lloyd out there and to see what he's capable of doing, but Emmanuel Wilson is that good. I am excited about that dude as well. It uh, goes on to say, loved him practice all week due to his knee injury. Uh, uh, and against the Philadelphia Eagles and Matt LaFleur already made it known that if he's okay with him not practicing and he could be a game time decision, uh, he can throw him into the game if he's gets cleared by the medical staff and all that. But he says he is doing good. He's got a great attitude and is working hard at getting better every day. That is fantastic news Packer fans. Um, so let's talk about the defense. Let's trans transition into the defense. If you remember last year, I've got PTSD when it comes to Joe Barry. I thought Joe Barry was an awful defensive coordinator. If you remember later on in the season, he was just losing control of the entire defense. It seemed like every, the whole locker room was just out of control when it came to, um, Joe Barry, his schemes, the confusion there. And if you remember later in the season, week 14, we played the Giants. Tommy DeVito ended up getting Offensive Player of the Week. Yes, Tommy DeVito ended up getting Offensive Player of the Week. And then they chased that up with a week 15 against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Baker Mayfield ended up getting Offensive Player of the Week. These are two guys that should not be getting Offensive Player of the Week. And then we played the Carolina Panthers soon after that. And you have Bryce Young, who I don't think is a starting caliber quarterback in the league. I said it when he was drafted. I still feel very strongly this dude is not a good quarterback, especially as a starting quarterback in the NFL. Bryce Young just does not cut it. So if you remember, though, the dude looked like uh, a great quarterback. He threw for 312 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions, and a passer rating of 110. He didn't throw a another touchdown the rest of the year. Man, the Packers... You know, all of a sudden we we step into this year, Jeff Halfley. I think Jeff Halfley is going to do an absolutely great job. But then I was looking so forward to the Philadelphia Eagles game in Brazil. And then this happens, right? And then all of a sudden you get Saquon Barkley, player of the week. And I got PTSD from last year's Joe Barry. And I was like, come on, is this going to start happening again? I know our defense gave up like 410, 415 yards. I don't think this is going to be happening again. I think this is a one-off type situation for the Packers. Of course, they are the youngest team in the league. They are, uh, uh, you know, trying to uh, deal with a new DC there. Um, so there's a lot of young, either young talent and also just young uh, coaches there trying to mesh together. I don't think the Green Bay Packers are going to be, you know, chasing up a uh, uh, performance of giving up 400 plus yards again to the Indianapolis Colts. I thought they defended very well against the run when it comes to a running quarterback like Jalen Hurts. And I think they're going to do the same thing with Richardson. Um, now, one thing that uh, is incredibly encouraging, not just Edrin Cooper out there in his performance and him, he ha him having the highest PFF grade of our entire defense last week 
This dude is going to be getting more playing time. So I think you're going to see some more consistency from the linebacker play with Quay Walker because you got a good guy alongside of you. Um, you're not thinking as much about the guys to the right or the to the left of you. Edron Cooper, I think, is that guy that is going to provide not just great play out there, but also some stability to Quay Walker. Um, and then you've got a guy that Jeff Halfley has already said that this dude anticipate him taking a bigger role. And I'm super pumped about that because the preseason or even in mini camp and all of that, we saw Evan Williams looked like a ball hawk. The guy was just out everywhere when um, uh, he just sees, seems to have great instincts. So I'm super excited to hear Jeff Halfley say that Evan Williams is going to get more of a role in this defense. So anticipate the defense getting better. He said they looked very good in practice this week. Of course, you know, I, I, I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, coaches have to say that they don't. I've heard other coaches come out and say, hey, listen, we played awful. We looked awful in practice this week. We better chase that up with a good performance come. But the pa it's not what you're hearing with the Packers. I think you're going to see a different Packer defense out there. They had three turnovers, and Jeff Halfley said they should have had more. He's not happy with that or content with that because they left some on the board. Um, but anticipate the Packers defense looking much improved this week. Leave your comments, and as always, go Pack Go.